In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Visual Basic Editor. Before we open the editor, we need to check our macro security settings, go into File, Options, Trust Center, click on Trust Center Settings, and then Macro Settings. You'll want to set this to enable all macros during testing, and then once we're done, we will change it to digitally signed macros. Click OK. Click on Customize Ribbon and select Developer. This will show the Developer tab on the ribbon for you. Click OK. You can open the Visual Basic Editor from here, or you can press Alt F11 on your keyboard. Some macros need to go into this Outlook session, so you'll expand Project 1, and then Microsoft Outlook Objects and double click on this Outlook session to open the editor. Other macros will go into a module. Right click on Project 1 and choose Insert Module. Type or paste your code into the macro. To test the macro, you press the Run button. This macro will save an attachment to the disk, so we need to make sure we have a message selected that has an attachment. We'll go down and select this one. We can run it from the Developer tab from the Macros button. Open Windows Explorer to see if this macro worked. We've got our Attachments folder and there is the attachment. We've got another file here with attachments. We'll run it again. And you can see that it saved that attachment. Once we're sure the macro is working correctly, we can digitally sign it. Open Windows Explorer and find your Office installation. In Office 2013, it's under Office 15 root, and again under Office 15. You can browse for it or use the search. Type in a name for your certificate. You can use your name. You can call it Outlook Macros, Office Macros, whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Diane. Click OK. That creates the certificate. We go back to the Visual Basic Editor and go to Tools, Digital Signature. Click Choose. We choose the signature we just created and click OK. Click Save and close the Visual Basic Editor. In Outlook, go to Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Macro settings and choose notification for digitally signed macros. Return to Outlook and close Outlook. You'll be asked once again to save the project even though you've already saved it before. Click Yes. Restart Outlook. We go into the developer when we run the macro the first time. We're going to be asked if we want to trust the certificate that was used to sign this Outlook session. Click Yes and you won't see this uh, dialog in the future. If you edit your macro or add any new macros to your project, you'll need to remove the signature and re-sign it. 